Awesome Fantastics, it's finally happening, you're on your way to Finland and Helsinki. But as long as you don't know how to fly like Vegeta or web swim like the Spider-Man, you need to know how to get around here like a boss. But don't worry because today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know on how to buy the tickets, how to check the routes and also give you a few pro tips on how to travel here in Helsinki like a boss. Let's go check it out. What up Fantastics, welcome to another video. If you're here for the first time, welcome, my name is Alex and I make fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language so if you're into those kind of things hit the subscribe and the bell button because you will join our fantastic squad first of all let's have a look at the hls or hsl application to buy tickets and check routes and helsinki includes the surrounding cities like espo vanta kerava and so on all right let me give you a quick tutorial how to use app and how to buy the tickets and check the routes okay so once you downloaded the app from the app store just open it and click continue note the age limit there and then you can read how your data is processed you can read it if you want and then if you live in finland you just put your postcode but if you're a tourist or you and you live abroad just click i live abroad and then you just need to give a few permissions for example the location or push notifications these make the use of the app much easier so i recommend to click ok for them and boom then you're all set and once you're at the main page click the tickets button at the bottom and for the first time you need to enter your name and your phone number or you can log in with the HSL or HOSL account if you have one so do as you please at this point and once you've done that you get a list of different tickets with different letters on it and what do these mean well these are the tickets for different zones so Helsinki is actually divided to different zones A, B, C and D and depending on which zones or with, to which zone you're traveling, you need to buy the correct ticket. And the Helsinki main area is A zone. And you will be spending like 95% of your time in this zone, especially if you're just traveling. Uh, the surrounding cities of Espoo and Vanta at, are at the zone B. Outskirts of Espoo, Vanta, as well as the airport in the zone Z. And some smaller cities and municipalities are, are at the zone D. And the thing is that there are no single zone tickets except for the zone D. So most of the time, if especially if you're traveling, you will be using only the AB ticket with the exception of the ABC ticket when you're coming from the airport. So if you come from the airport to Helsinki, you need to buy the ABC ticket because you are traveling from the zone Z to zone A. So that's kind of the main idea and in the app you can actually view these different ticket possibilities and which areas they cover if you want to check out more information on that. Okay, so just for example, let's pick the AB ticket and as you can see it costs 2.8 euro and then you choose the customer group by default it's adult but there's also kids and student one. Kids under 7 year old travel for free. So they don't need a ticket, but kids between the ages 7 and 17 get a 50% discount. And the student price is actually the same. At the moment, the students don't get discounts for single tickets, so you don't really have to worry about that actually. Once you've done that, you need to add the payment card to buy the ticket. So you add your credit or debit card there, just follow the instructions pretty straightforward. And then once that is done, you choose your payment card, then you click go to the payment, and then you get this quick review screen where you see the zone, the price, the start time, the duration and the customer group. And this is how the ticket itself looks like. There was some sort of block in the app. I couldn't record the screen with the ticket on, but this is how it looks. And there's this ticket inspection mode. You just click it when the ticket inspectors approach you and ask you to show the ticket. I will make a separate video later how to actually travel with the tickets and use the vehicles. So that's coming up later. Make sure to subscribe. And a quick point here, I will talk about this in the future videos as well. But the ticket is valid in all methods of transport. The trams, the trains, the metros, the buses. The only thing that you need to pay attention is the duration and the zone. But aside from that, you can travel with any possible vehicle you want. And you will also get the push notification when your ticket will expire. So that's also good stuff. So how do you know which ticket do you need to buy? There's two ways to do this. When you have the ticket list, you can actually hit the from to button and then you just punch in your start point and your end point and it will immediately tell you what ticket you need to buy. So that's how you can do it. But the better way to do this is to use the route planner function. So hit the routes button at the bottom of the app and then you get this map 
screen and you can actually zoom out and you can see how the zones work you can see the a b c d zones and their borders and so on and basically what you just do you put your start point and your end point and then it will give you the routes or, pos or suggestion for the possible routes for example let's say we are from the railway square we are starting at the railway square square and we want to check out the sibelius monument which is actually a pretty fantastic place to check out once you punch this in the app will suggest uh, what would be the best way and the easiest way for you to get there and as you can see the app suggests us that tram number 10 is quite straightforward so when you click the click the itinerary you get more like detailed breakthrough how you get there but to be honest i think this could be much better there's like so much stuff packed into the small portion of the screen which kind of makes it a little bit difficult to see but you get the detailed instructions and also on the map view you can see where you need to go which stop you need to take and so on and on, on top of that it also shows you what ticket you need to get so pretty much all the information is here uh, but if you ask me it could be displayed in a little bit better fashion and I quickly also want to mention about these day tickets which are valid for like one day, two days, three days and so on. If you already know that you'll be traveling quite a bit inside Helsinki for example, this can actually save you quite a bit of money. So you can also buy like let's say two day ticket and you can ride it as much as you want within that zone for two days. So that's pretty good stuff. So that's also one possibility you can choose. And there's also season tickets. These are maybe more for people who live in Helsinki. So if you are like a commuter, for example, you travel to work every day and so on, you want to consider getting one of the season tickets. And for example, the AB season ticket costs like around, around 60 euros and you can ride as much as you want for 30 days with that ticket. So that's something you can also consider getting. But one kind of crucial thing for the app is that you need mobile data or Wi-Fi. But the good news is that if you come to Helsinki, for example, if you're from the European Union, the roaming fees are pretty much non-existent nowadays. So pretty much most likely you can use your mobile data here as in your own country. Or if you come outside the European Union, the data plans, SIM cards, prepaid SIM cards are cheap as shit here. So you can easily get one with very low cost. You can start using mobile data and the apps as well. And I want to quickly point out that the application actually supports offline tickets which means that you can buy the tickets when you're connected and when you will go out and you don't have the internet connection you can still show the tickets so that's actually pretty good stuff but you obviously cannot buy the tickets without the internet so that's why i would still suggest to get the mobile data the sim cards because they are very cheap and very easy to get so it gives you flexibility when you are out exploring helsinki and having fun here they are planning to add also a group ticket which means for example if you're traveling with kids you could just buy one ticket for your home family but unfortunately it's not available at the moment uh, when, when i'm recording this video but it might come out later so keep an eye on that as well and the second option what i strongly recommend to use when checking out the place and stuff is just google maps google maps works awesomely well in finland it's not only useful to find your nearby places like restaurants places to see and stuff but also the routes themselves but you can't buy the tickets obviously from the google maps okay next let's check out how the google maps works it's actually very easy to use and most likely you have used it before as well so basically you just put your start point which is usually your gps location by default and your end point and when you click the directions button at the bottom left you get the suggested routes you can also find some other useful information such as opening hours and reviews as well and similarly to hosl app you get the suggested routes but i think google maps does this much better it's much more intuitive much more easy to read and so on and here you for example can see the route from the railway square to lolo which is another fantastic place by the way so the google map doesn't show which ticket you need but it sometimes shows the price of the ticket you need so it's kind of a little bit tricky but especially for people who are just moved to Helsinki but once you get used to it you will know how to get around and 95% of the time your accommodation if you're just traveling is within the AB zone and like I said most of the interesting stuff is within the AB zone so usually the AB ticket is the way to go but eventually you need to go to the HOSL app to buy the tickets but what I personally like to do is just to use the Google Maps to find the routes and then switch to HOSL app to buy the ticket and what also Google Maps does better is that you can find easily the destination by just typing in the name of the place which is a really good thing and another great feature in the google maps is the route guide so once you choose your route 
you can find this start button at the corner and when you hit it the app will start to guide you to your destination and for example you will get notifications on your rights and whatsoever for example here you can see that i'm heading to the city center from Kallio uh, with the tram and as i'm riding the app will tell me how many stops are left to my stop where I have to get off and this is very very useful because especially in the buses you can't always tell easily what is the next stop so you might miss your uh, stop but with the Google Maps it will tell you when you have to get off and this is amazingly useful feature what I really like and I use this all the time myself when I'm going to clients for example. And Google Maps also works in other cities. For example, when I was living in Tampere, I always used Google Maps because it works really well. I'm not really sure about other cities, but my suggestion is to use also Google Maps and use the HOSL app to buy the ticket. And a quick correction, the HOSL app only works for tickets in Helsinki area. So if you live, for example, or travel to Tampere or Turku, you cannot use the app there. I heard, for example, in Tampere, they have already their own app. But you have to check it like place by place, but Google Maps works pretty much in every bigger cities in Finland. Another way how you can travel around is use the travel card. So it's this physical card where you can either charge or top up value or season. So for example, if you top up 10 euros and you buy one AB ticket, so it deducts 280 when you use the ticket. And if you buy season, for example, you can get like this 30 day ticket, for example, for AB zone, then you can just use that as many time, as much as you want for that time period. I'll quickly tell you about the travel card. It's a little bit old fashioned way to travel because everyone pretty much uses the app nowadays. But let me give you a quick lowdown how to use it. So first of all, you need to buy the actual card and you can buy it from the HOSL office, which is located at the central railway station. And after this, you have to either charge season or value on it. And you can do this on these ticket machines or at the office as well while you buy it. And once you've done that, you can actually buy the cards. And let me show you how you activate slash buy tickets with the travel card. So when you go to this station, whether it's bus station, metro station, or in the trams, you find these machines. And here's how you do it. So you first click which ticket you want to buy. For example, if you want to buy the AB ticket, you click the AB. And then it asks you how many tickets you want to buy. So you can, for example, buy one of your friends. If you're traveling with a friend, you increase the number of people. And then you just tap the card at the machines and boom. And then your ticket is active. But my advice is if you're just coming for tourists, I don't think you don't need the card at all because you also have to pay like five euros to buy the actual card. So instead just download the app and use that because that's pretty much free to use as there's no like any other use costs whatsoever. And yet another way to buy the tickets is just to buy the physical ticket. And there's some, quite a number of places where you can do this. First of all, being just a regular ticket machine, so you can find one pretty much in every station like train station, metro, or tram station, metro stations and so on. Or you can buy one at Arkioski. It's like this kind of convenience store around Finland. But of course the downside is that you need the physical ticket and not to lose it. For example, when you have the app, you can just, because you, you most likely won't be losing your phone that easily. That's what much more convenient way to go. And just a quick summarization. Among all of this, just get the application because it's so easy, so smooth, so convenient to get those tickets and you always have them here. So it's very easy. And like I said, data plans are very cheap. So that's very easy way to make your travels much more smoother here. Good job, Fantastics. And in the next video, I will teach you how to actually ride the trams, the trains, the buses like a boss. So make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell button. And meanwhile, check out this other playlist I've made you for more fantastic stuff. I'll see you in the next video. So I'm